This is a JSP application for finding the area and perimeter of rectangle. So in this application, we have to use the different types of JSP tags, scriptlet, expressions, declaration. These tags are used in this application. So we create a new project, just named as project one. And in the project one, we add two files. One is, and in the project one, we add two files. One is HTML file index.html and then we right click on the project and add a JSP file. The name of the JSP file is rectangle.jsp. Index.html is the home page, which is the client side. So in order to find the area and perimeter of rectangle, the user need to provide the length and breadth of the rectangle. So to accept the value of length and breadth, for the rectangle, we are using index.html page. For that, we are creating a form inside index.html. The form is mentioned with its attributes, method as post and action. The name of the JSP page that need to be called, which is rectangle.jsp. Rectangles area and perimeter we need two text box. We create two text box. One text box for accepting the value of length and another for accepting the value of breadth. By using input tag, we create a text box. Input type equal to text, name equal to T1, which is for length. Similarly, we create one more text box for breadth, input type equal to text and name equals T2. So we have two text box T1 for length and T2 for breadth. And then we also include one submit button, input type equals submit and value equal and value is find result. Now the logic for finding the area and perimeter of rectangle, we write inside JSP page, rectangle.jsp page. We started with a scriptlet tag, less than percentage, starts and percentage greater than will close the scriptlet tag we write the logic inside a try catch block in the catch block we display the error message in case if any runtime error occurs we display the error message as e dot get message and in the finally block we create a hyperlink to go back to the main page in the try block first we accept the value of length from the text box t1 so request dot get parameter of T1, which will accept the value from the text box T1 and convert into integer integer dot int and store into a variable L. Similarly, we accept the value from the second text box request dot get parameter of T2 and convert into integer by integer dot int and store into another variable integer variable B. So we have two variable L for length and B for breadth and it takes the value from the text box client text box T1 and T2. Now by using a declaration tag, we can declare a variable, de define a function or define a class inside the JSP page. It starts with less than percentage and an exclamatory mark and it ends with percentage and greater than symbol. So in this declaration tag, we are creating a class. A Java class can be created directly inside JSP page by using declaration tag. So we are creating a class which is named as rectangle class. Now this rectangle class is having two data members, length and breadth of integer type. By default, it is private access. Then we define two constructor. One is zero argument constructor, default constructor which initialize the value of length and breadth as zero and other parameterized constructor with two parameters length and breadth. The value of parameters needs to be assigned into the data members. So data members can be accessed by using this keyword. So this dot length equal length, which will assign the value of the parameter length into the data member length. Similarly, the parameter breadth will assign into the data member breadth. Then we include two method.
which is find area method, which is used to calculate the area of rectangle, which is of private axis. which will return the area of rectangle as length into breadth. Similarly, we include one more method, which is find perimeter, which will calculate the perimeter and return the result. So return data type of both find area and find perimeter is integer. Perimeter can be calculated as two into length, length plus breadth. Perimeter for the rectangle can be calculated as two into length plus breadth now in order to calculate the result we have to use this class we can use the class and call the method find area and find perimeter for that purpose we are splitting the logic inside two scriptlet after taking the value of l and uh, after taking the value from the text box t1 and t2 we close the scriptlet and for catch block, we again start the scriptlet tag. Inside the scriptlet tag, we are creating an object for the class which we have defined. The name of the class is rectangle. So we are creating a rectangle object. Name of the object is obj and pass the parameters l and b to the length and breadth of the rectangle class. Now we can calculate the area of rectangle by calling the method find area and similarly we can find out the value of perimeter by calling the method find perimeter of rectangle class by using the object obj. Now while we are displaying the values by using expression tag, we can also include the HTML tags for formatting. So here we are using the formatting for HTML by using ordered list. So all the values of the rectangle are displayed as a list item of ordered list. First we display the value of length. Every value is displayed by using expression tag. Expression tags are used to display some result back to the client in JSP page. Expression tag is a single line statement which starts with less than percentage equal followed by a variable or string constant that can be displayed directly into the client page client browser. So first we display the length, then we display the value of breadth. And then we call the method object dot find area. Find area method will be called by using the object and the return result will be displayed by using expression tag. Similarly, we call find perimeter by using the object and the return result of perimeter will be displayed inside the expression tag. Execute and see the program output. Right click on the HTML page and run the application run as run on server. See the program output.